Hello everyone. I am Vilas. We have Ankit and Dom also with us. Today we are going to discuss on effective methods of humidity control. In some past years, we have came across many issues related to humidity. The severe change in environment and other reasons like pollution, humidity control has become a major factor for human comfort. In regions like Mumbai, we face high humidity issues. and in some remote places like nagpur or vidarbha region of maharashtra where the climate is very dry that is humidity is very less so we are going to speak the effects of both conditions and what are the ways to overcome those issues now ankit will start with what is the humidity now take a introduction about humidity humidity refers to the amount of water vapor present in the air it plays a crucial role in various application such as comfort level industrial processes and agriculture in comfort application humidity affects how humans perceive temperature like high humidity can make it feel hotter while low humidity can make it feel cooler in industrial processes humidity control is important for maintaining product quality so now it is also preventing the corrosion and regulating manufacturing conditions in agriculture humidity influences plant growth diseases susceptibility and crop yield now we will look on to relative humidity relative humidity is the ratio of amount of water vapor present in the air to the maximum amount of water vapor the air can hold at a specific temperature expressed as a percentage rh is a measured using instrument such as hydrometer which can be based on various principle including psychometry dew point or capacitance Understanding and controlling RH is essential for maintaining comfortable and healthy indoor environments, optimizing industrial processes, and ensuring the agriculture productivity. Now let a, let's a look on next slide, which is effects of high humidity. First, we will see on health. High humidity can exacerbate respiratory issues, trigger allergies, and promote the growth of mold. and dust mites leading to the poor indoor air quality second one is a comfort high humidity can make individuals feel hotter and sticker reducing perceived comfort levels even at moderate temperature indoor air quality excessive moisture in the air can lead to the pro- proliferation of mold mild dew and bacteria contributing to the indoor air pollution and potential health hazards next one is mold growth high quality high humidity creates a conducive environments for a mold growth on surface such as walls ceilings and fabrics posing health risk and requiring remediation effects corrosion in industrial settings high humidity accelerates corrosion of metal surfaces and equipments leading to the degradation reduce life span and potential safety hazards next one is machinery malfunction moisture can interface with the operation of machinery and electronic equipment causing malfunctions short circuits and equipment failures product quality high humidity can adversely affect the quality of product in industry such as pharmaceuticals food processing and electronics manufacturing leading to the spoilage defect and financial losses last one is energy consumption excessive humidity may necessitate higher energy consumption for air conditioning and dehumidification system to maintain comfortable and safe indoor conditions next part will conduct by vilas thank you now we are going to see the effects of low humidity low humidity impacts various factors out of which human and comfort is major thing in human many health issues are seen due to health less humidity like dry skin and irritation respiratory issues in respiratory issues dry air can irritate the respiratory tract leading to cough throat irritation and worsen symptoms for those with asthma and allergies also increased transmission of airborne viruses some studies suggest that low humidity levels can increase the transmission of certain viruses include influenza other problem is eye irritation low humidity can cause skin to become dry and itchy and crack
low humidity can impact on plants also especially those that require higher humidity levels it can lead to wilting browning of leaf tips and overall poor growth as shown in the image it also impact on food storages like it affects to leading to quicker spoilage or changes in texture not only plants and human but also it affects on other materials like wood which due to low humidity which can cause wood to dry out and shrink leading to warp wrapping cracking and splitting other thing like paper fa fa fabrics also which uh, which cause paper to become brittle and yellowed and other fabrics to become statically and uncomfortable to wear in protection under against condense when cold surfaces are surrounded by moisture water vapor will condense on the surface like sweat this can lead to surprising number of problems for instance consumer in a supermarket may not be able to see the frozen food in the refrigerated display case with the glass door that may mean thousands of dollars in lost revenue in other cases the condensed dripping from the pipe or duct surfaces can spoil the ceiling flooring wallpaper or discolor the furnishings in all these cases the solution is to lower the dew point of the hair to at a value inferior to the temperature of the coldest surface and the only possibility of lowering the dew point is by means of dehumidification there are no alternatives other things like moisture regains clogging and stinking virtually every substance has some affinity for moisture even plastics regions like nylon can collect 6 to 10% of the dry weight in water vapor in many cases this represents no problem in other moisture regions which can affect critical dimensions or make products stick together the typical home salt shaker illustrates this point when moisture regains on humidity days clogs the stack holders in printing also low humidity can cause paper to become statically leading to issues with paper feeding and paper print quality it also affects on hvac system low humidity can cause hvac system to work harder to maintain comfortable indoor conditions leading to high energy cost now we are going to see how to control the humidity the adding of humidity is called humidification and removing of the humidity is called dehumidification so humidification is a process by which moisture is provided inside a given space where this is sacca or insufficient by means of humidifier for storage of fresh products the important factors are temperature humidity ethylene and odor which need to be managed now relative humidity is the term which used to measure the humidity which can be controlled by adding moisture to air regulating air movement and ventilation rates in relation to produce maintaining refrigeration coils in a cold room with 1 degrees of air temperature providing moisture barriers wetting floors in storage rooms adding crushed ice to package and display sprinkling produce during retailing market like leafy vegetables cold season root crops immature food crops and other humidifiers like steam in which we can see in this image that this steam uh, or humidity humidification is done by the spraying process other humidifiers are ultrasonic humidifiers or steam humidifiers which are used in market we have seen how to add the humidity to the environment now we are going to see the several methods of drying the air which means we have to remove the humidity from the air first method is called make up air method in this method which uses the principle of dilution that means removing the portion of a moisture air from the space and replacing it with a drier air this method works well in the parts of the country where outside air is drier this method is difficult to apply in summer months and expensive to operate in winter due to heating costs second method is compression of air as air is compressed beyond saturation water vapor in the air begins to condense and living air is drier when air is compressed the dew point is raised that is the temperature at which water vapor will condense is raised D using compression to dry air is effective when small quantities are needed this method has 
i installation and operational cost and is most common when less than 100 cfm of dry air is required third one is heating or evaporation in the process in the room is heated the air will be able to hold more water and the relative humidity will decrease however in heating ask for a well insulated building in order to meet the demand of building rules and regulations and in order to keep down the cost of energy note that approximately 1052 BTU are needed to evaporate one pound of water fourth point is dehumidification refrigeration first is refrigeration dehumidification as air is cooled relative humidity increases water begin condensing when the air is cooled beyond its dew point or saturation temperature air conditioners and mechanical dehumidifiers are both refrigeration dehumidifiers this method is effective for desired conditions down to 45 percent rh for standard application and as moderate capital and operating cost second is desiccant dehumidification desiccant dehumidifiers use special material that absorbs or hold moisture the material is unique in that it does not change its size or shape when acquiring the moisture and can be regenerated by applying it this technique is used effectively to dry the air in the range of 0 to 50 percent relative humidity it has a relative expensive capital expense as well as a high operational cost the second deep universe are effective in controlling humidity and low temperature and have been wider applied in powder processing and powder handling activities such as granulated sugar storage packing rooms etc Second is refrigeration dehumidification. It works on a principle that lowering air temperature decreases the air ability to hold moisture. As air is cooled, relative humidity increases, water begins condensing when the air is cooled below its dew point of saturation. The air becomes drier in absolute terms but is now saturated, that is, its relative humidity is close to 100%. If a low relative humidity is needed in addition to a low absolute moisture level, the air can be heated after it leaving the cooling coil. This method is effective for desired conditions down to 45% relative humidity for standard application. Second is evaporator optimization. The refrigeration dehumidifiers operate in many modes of operation in order to ensure continuous moisture removal. To achieve this, the system's design incorporates many different critically shear shaped components that must function seamlessly. Next, we next will be explained by the Ohm Parab. So now let us look into the application and case study where humidity plays a crucial role in various applications. There are many applications. So first there is a pharmaceutical industry where drug manufacturing where humidity control is a vital during drug manufacturing process to maintain the quality and stability of pharmaceutical products. High humidity levels can lead to degradation of drugs while low humidity can affect the efficiency and stability of formulation. Whereas food industry, uh, in food industry, food storages and baking where food storages controlling humidity levels is crucial in food storage facilities to prevent spoilage and mold growth and to maintain product quality. Whereas in baking, in breaking processes, humidity control is crucial for achieving desired products, textures and appearances. So coming to the next slide, there is a third application uh, which is HVAC systems. In HVAC systems, there are two sub points, comfort and energy efficiency. Comfort, HVAC system regulates indoor humidity levels to ensure comfort and well-being for occupants. High humidity can lead to discomfort and promote mold growth while low humidity can cause dry skin, respiratory issues and static electricity. Whereas in energy efficiency, optimizing humidity levels in systems can improve energy efficiency by reducing the workload on heating and cooling equipment. So our fourth uh, application is agriculture. In agriculture, there is a greenhouses and seed storage. Uh, in greenhouses, humidity control in greenhouses is essential for plant growth and productivity whereas in seed storage, maintaining specific humidity levels in seed storage facilities 
preserves seed viability and prevents deterioration so the our case study uh, is mold growth prevention in libraries and archives where many libraries and archives face the challenges of preserving books uh, and various documents and manuscripts uh, to mold growth in high humidity environments implementing humidity control systems such as dehumidifiers and hvac systems help maintaining the optimal humidity levels to prevent mold proliferation let us now discuss on future trends predicting future trends in humidity control involves considering advancements in technology changes in environmental conditions and evolving industry requirements here are some potential future trends so first one is smart humidity control system uh, second one is energy efficient solution in smart humidity humidity control system integration of humidity sensor with internet of things iot technology to create smart humidity humidity control systems whereas in energy efficient solution continued focus on developing energy efficient humidity control solution to reduce the environmental impact and operational cost now let's see the remaining three future trends where uh, third is advanced material for moisture management uh, research and development of advanced material with enhanced moisture wicking properties for textiles building materials and packing these materials can help regulate humidity levels in various application including apparel construction and food packaging thereby improving comfort durability and product shelf life fourth is climate change ad adaptation where increasing focus on humidity control as part of climate change adaptation strategies particularly in region experiencing shifts in precipitation patterns and extreme weather events uh, fifth is health and wellness application growing awareness of the influence of indoor humidity on health and well-being development of humidity control solutions tailored to specific health concerns such as respiratory condition skin health and indoor air quality improvement